Is there a reason to consume fluoride every day for the rest of our lives? There is research on how fluoride can help strengthen teeth enamel in younger people, but it's not needed after our teeth are fully grown in. Too much of anything over an extended period of time can cause harm. We should be questioning why we are constantly consuming this poison. For fluoride to be deadly, an adult would have to eat eight tubes of toothpaste. But the question is, should anybody be consuming any substance that can actually kill you if you eat too much of it? And what does consuming a small amount every day do to our overall well-being? Welcome to Health and Fitness Nerd. I am your host and your nerd, Stephen Ayala. This channel is here to inform and help you make healthier decisions. All my studies are backed by research. I have left all the research in the description box below for you to make your own decision. Please help by smashing that like and subscribe button and that bell will be notified when we have new nerdy videos. If you want more information about the world's most powerful liver detox and more information about these subjects, all the links will be in the description box below. Well, one way to know if you consume too much fluoride, you will see whitening stains of the teeth called fluorosis that actually uh, caused by excess amount of fluoride within the first eight years of life. Other things you may see are some dark brown staining, uh, rough and pitted enamel that is difficult to clean. Now, skeletal fluorosis, which accumulates in the bones, symptoms include stiffness and pain in your joints, ligaments may calcify, change of bone structure, impalement of muscle and pain, which all of these symptoms are associated with arthritis as well. Now, here's a question. If fluoride works so well, why would we still get cavities? And why is there a need to call poison control if your child eats toothpaste? Even branches of our own government, like the NRC, have identified fluoride toxicity to have detrimental health effects associated with brain damage, calcification of the pineal gland, disruption of the endocrine system, a thyroid gland, glucose metabolism, and even bone cancer. A study done at Mount Sinai shows that exposure to fluoride may diminish kidney and liver function among youth in the United States. Another study done from maternal infant research on environmental chemicals show that fluoride exposure during pregnancy is associated with adverse effects of child intellectual development. Now the NRC has reported their findings to the EPA about the safe drinking water standards of 4 ppm of fluoride should be lowered that these levels are unsafe for consumption and have been associated with increased risk of tooth damage and bone fractures. So here is the best way to limit your exposure to fluoride and some of the other toxins that they consider okay to consume would be to use a carbon filter and distill your water at home. Now, I did make a video, you can link to it here about tap water. Now you can find many toothpaste companies that are making their product without fluoride now. And there is many uh, dentists that no longer use fluoride. If you do have a dentist, you can opt out of using their fluoride products and you'll find that many of them actually have alternatives that you can use. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay safe. Health is wealth. See ya.